Stanford Raffles had promised Naraina Pile many opportunities and a good living in the new port. However, when Pile arrived in Singapore, he saw only a scattering of huts made of bamboo and grass, set amidst a background of dense jungle. Some others who had come with him from Penang returned to their boats and sailed back home. Pile, however, decided to stay, determined to make a go in the new settlement. He noticed that many houses were being built, and very quickly. Capitalizing on this wave, he started a brick kiln and enlisted carpenters and bricklayers from Penang to join his growing business. Pile became the first building contractor and soon added textiles to his growing empire. He owned the biggest shop in the bazaar at Cross Street. Then, in 1822, tragedy struck. Pile's textile business at the bazaar burned to the ground. He had to take a loan to rebuild and eventually paid off everything he owed within five years. Despite these challenges, Pele was determined to do something for the community. He built the Sri Mariaman Temple, the first Hindu temple in Singapore. It was completed in 1827. The temple still stands on the same site on South Bridge Road, nearly 200 years later. It is a reminder of the grit and determination of one of Singapore's first entrepreneurs.